Hi all, in this video we are discussing about HRMS Loan Accounting in Order 15. OpenHRMS is a open source HR management software which helps to create a happier workspace for employee. Moreover, it is packed with advanced features to manage and act as a solution to run all the HR management operations in your company. And it is suitable for both large scale and small scale enterprises. So in this video, we are discussing about HRMS Loan Accounting in Order 50. This module empowers the employees for requesting loans and advances. So for that, we need to install the module from the App Store. That is OHRMS Loan Accounting. Currently in my database, I install this module. If you don't install the modules, you can install it from here. Once we install this module, you would be able to access this feature. So before going to this feature, you need to enable a Boolean field in the invoicing. So under the invoicing module, in the configuration, in the settings, let's scroll down. And here we can see a Boolean field appro approval from accounting departments. Once we enable this boolean field, only we can get the approval from the account manager for our loan request. So I enable the boolean field and then save this record. And uh, for that, let's go to payroll. So inside the payroll under the configuration in the salary rules, we can see a new rule that is loan. Once we install this module, automatically a rule loan is added at here and also under the configuration salary structure we can create the structures based upon this loan so i just created a structure loan structure which includes this loan salary rule which is a detection category and insert the employees from here there is a menu for loans and advances so at here we can see a menu request for loan from here, we can create the requests for our loan and then the uh, account managers can approve or either refuse it and then it moves to further verification process. So let's try to create a loan from here. So when we click on this create button, a form will appear. In this form, here it is a field for employee. So currently I am logged in as Michelle Admin. So Michelle Admin is automatically populated at here. And based on the employee, the management, the department is appeared at here. At here, we can add the, the, add the amount that we need loan. So, and at here, we can add the number of installments. And then the date. The date is automatically get by the today date. And the job position is based upon this employee. So if I choose Audrey Peterson, automatically the department and the job position will be changed based upon this employee's name. And at here we can get the company. So currently I am logged as uh, my your company. So it is shown as your company and then the currency and this is the payment start date. We can choose on the which date that we started our payment. And then let's save this record. And there is a button compute installment. While we click on this button, automatically the installments, that means the number of installments and the amount that we need to pay appeared at here. That is the payment date and then the amount. And at the down, we can see the total amount and the total paid amount and then the balance amount at here. And from here, the employee can submit their loan request. And then it will move to the account manager and they can add the treasury account, loan account and then the journal. If we not enable the boolean field account manager, we can approve this loan request. And then approve it. So now the loan request get approved. Then let's try to create the payslip for, the, for this employee Michel admin. And then we can see how it detects its loan amount. So go to payroll. At here choose the employee initial admin. And then compute sheet. 
and inside the salary computation we can see the salary structure as a total amount of $5,500 and then the $1,000 is detected from here and then the, uh, the net salary is $4,388. Like this, uh, like this on each month uh, its installment amount will be detected from his salary. Likewise, uh, we can configure different loan policies in your company. For more details about OpenHRMS, you can visit openhrms.com.